Tyrannosaurus Rex, also known as the Tyrant Lizard King, holds many titles. It is the largest known land carnivore to ever exist. It was the largest land predator of its time. It was the largest Tyrannosaurid. It is the most well-studied dinosaur. It is the most iconic dinosaur. And this is really only scratching the surface. However, contrary to popular belief, Tyrannosaurus was not just one species, as Tyrannosaurus is a genus. But there are actually two species within this genus, Tyrannosaurus rex and Tyrannosaurus macrainsis. It took over 118 years to describe a second species within the genus Tyrannosaurus, proving that we don't know everything about dinosaurs, not even close. Both species of Tyrannosaurus are both the largest land carnivores to ever exist, being the largest theropods, or at least that we know of. Both likely averaging well over 8,000 kilograms, and that's average. The largest specimen known from either species is a Tyrannosaurus rex known as E.D. Cope, officially known as BHI6248. This individual rex seems to have weighed roughly 11,000 to 12,000 kilograms in life, likely being well over 13 metres in length, standing 4 metres tall at the hips. E.D. Cope is believed to have lived to roughly 31 years old, possibly 32, although, as with the size, this is unofficial, as the specimen is known from very fragmentary materials. The largest confirmed T-Rex specimen is actually nicknamed Scotty, one of the few Tyrannosaurus specimens not found in the US but rather Canada, in the Frenchman formation. Scotty was around 12.37 metres in length, 40 feet 7 inches, and has a confirmed mass of around 10,500 to around 11,000 kilograms though he was way younger than Cope at around 22 years old when he died. Of course, not all Tyrannosaurus rex specimens were giants, or even fully grown when they died, as is seen in the specimen nicknamed Jane. And no, this video will not be focusing on Nanotyrannus, as that's a very annoying controversy. Jane was around 13 years old when he or she died, reaching a length of up to 6.4 metres or around 21 feet long, with a height of around 2.3 metres. And I think Jane pretty smoothly brings us to T-Rex growth spurts, which occurred at around 13 to 14 years old and continued until they were roughly 20 years old. During the peak of this 5 to 7 year growth spurt, Tyrannosaurus rex may have gained as much as 600 kilograms a year which likely would have completely stopped by the time they were in their early 20s. But enough about size. What are some other abilities of Tyrannosaurus rex that made this the most powerful animal to ever walk on land that was not a sauropod? Tyrannosaurus was likely one of, if not the smartest dinosaurs we know of, according to some recent studies, which highlight that at the bare minimum, T-Rex and t macrensis were as smart as alligators and crocodiles, and that's the bare minimum. There's also the odd paper that will claim T-Rex was possibly as smart as baboons and chimpanzees, modern primates, though these are questionable as we don't actually have a T-Rex brain or brain case to study, with very few exceptions for the latter. However, if we assume for a second that T-Rex was as smart as a primate, then that would make Tyrannosaurus rex amacrensis be able to use tools and set traps for prey, which is an ability that requires amazing levels of intelligence. Tyrannosaurus rex also had the best senses of any animal in the entire animal kingdom. Tyrannosaurus's olfactory bulbs are mostly compared with wolves and turkey vultures. And wolves can smell things up to 100 kilometres away. So Tyrannosaurus's sense of smell must have been impeccable. So there's no escaping. Tyrann Tyrannosaurus also likely had some of the best sight ever. 
being able to see objects as far as a hawk, eagle or falcon, being able to see objects as far as six kilometres away. And not only was T-Rex amazing with its own senses, but it could also make the sense of other animals obsolete, especially hearing. Despite what you might be told by every single piece of paleomedia ever, T-Rex very likely did not roar, nor did Macrantis. At least not like a lion, tiger, jaguar, or any other mammal, as they don't have the syrinx that allows them to emit roar-like sounds. Literally the second video I ever created on this channel, which you can still see today, focused on the sounds Tyrannosaurus likely made based off modern day animals, although I feel it's a little bit outdated now. Tyrannosaurus likely had padded feet as well, cushioning every sound made by every single twig snap. So you likely would never know it was coming for you until it was already too late. I personally don't think people acknowledge just how terrifying it must have been to have lived in Lake Cretaceous, North American forests, at night time, in the territory of a T-Rex, that would likely gobble you up in about three seconds. It would have been horrendous. However, for some dinosaurs, this was not an imagination, but a living reality that they likely had to experience every 24 hours. Tyrannosaurus macrantis lived around 72 million years ago in the Hall Lake Formation. Living alongside Tyrannosaurus macrantis would have been Alamosaurus and Sierra Ceratops, both of whom would have been contemporaries of the Megatheropod, along with likely hundreds of undiscovered organisms. However, Tyrannosaurus rex, which lived 68 to 66 million years ago in the Hull Creek and Frenchman formations, would have lived alongside Triceratops, a relative of Sierraceratops, Edmontosaurus, Ankylosaurus, Quetzalcoatlus likely, and several other giant dinosaurs, and some crocodilians as usual for Mesozoic ecosystems. Overall, Tyrannosaurus was a very successful genus, surviving for at least 6 million years in all kinds of environments and evolving some very unique and intriguing abilities. I've definitely got a lot more videos planned over the future as I now have a lot of spare time on my hands. So in the community section of my channel, comment what you would like to see. Anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment.